So there you have it. Three hours and 40 minutes later, we have the Lapin Millennium Falcon. What do you think? What do I think? Well, in overall, I like it a lot. I love it, actually. I mean, obviously, there are some flaws, uh, but it's to expect with a $50 knockoff. knockoff. <laughs> Uh, the manual has some mistakes, yeah. and that will incite you to try to be a little bit creative about it. Um, there is a few missing pieces, but nothing like easily replaceable. Yeah, nothing major, like yeah. some odd things, but. And besides, like two pieces, the two rotative pieces that uh, get removed pretty easily. Uh, that also is is easily replaceable but again you're not going to be flying around the house with yeah, it yeah no exactly it's for display it, so. it, it is only in on a display purpose so the quality is there i was pleasantly surprised by the quality of it it is it is goddamn near lego yeah i find the bricks really strong really yeah, solid and, it, and they clip yeah. really well you have this loud click noise yeah. when you put them yeah. together so would Good. you recommend it if, if, just like me, you're a fan of Star Wars, and just like me, you're <laughs> totally broke. <laughs> Unfortunately for LEGO, yes, I will highly recommend Le Pin, because look at the size. This cost me $50. Compared to at least a $200... At, at least a $350 or something. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. That's good. All right. All right. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And subscribe. Ciao, guys. <laughs>